In 2017, several news organizations revealed the existence of the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, a U.S. government-funded program that investigated unidentified flying objects between 2007 and 2012. The secret $22 million program, however, was not the first of its kind. Official government UFO studies began in the late 1940s with Project Sign, providing some of the most credible videos of aerial phenomena to date. Within a few years, that program eventually evolved into Project Blue Book, which actively investigated UFO sightings throughout much of the Cold War. The 2017 revelation that the US government was actively researching UFOs reignited world interest in UFOs and aliens. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at the six recent UFO sightings that prove aliens are far superior than us. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. Number 1. Zimbabwe In November 1996, Cynthia Hind traveled to Bindura, some 90 kilometers from Harare, to interview Lloyd Karambakua, a Herman Gumanier secondary school student studying for his O-levels. This is what he told her, according to his words. On March 6, 1996, between 1 and 1.30 a.m., he awoke and decided to prepare for his examinations, knowing it would be peaceful at that time. During this activity, he heard a sound similar to a telephone dialing, except that there were no telephones in this location. It lasted for several minutes, so Lloyd decided to investigate. He opened the front door and surveyed the exterior. When he looked in that direction, he observed a rather peculiar sight. He ran outdoors and crouched behind a hedge for a better vantage point. He followed a little, approximately one meter tall figure with a rugby ball shaped head and white overalls. On its back, the creature carried a little bag to which a red light emitting antenna was attached. Lloyd was afraid. He told me he was suffocating with panic before running back into the home, jumping into bed and covering himself with his blankets. He slept fitfully throughout the remainder of the night. At six the following morning, he investigated the area where the monster had walked and discovered several unidentified footprints, which he attributed to the creature. When he arrived at school, he told his pals that he'd seen a ghost during the night, but one of them argued that it was actually an alien spacecraft. Lloyd now believes that the thing is referred to as a UFO. Number 2. New Jersey It takes a lot for motorists to stop alongside a highway to look towards the sky, but on July 14, 2001, drivers on the New Jersey Turnpike did just that. For about 15 minutes, just after midnight, they marveled at the sight of strange orange and yellow lights in a V formation over the Arthur Kill Waterway between Staten Island, New York, and Carteret, New Jersey. Carteret Police Department's Lieutenant Daniel Tarrant was one of the witnesses, as well as other metro area residents from the Throgs Neck Bridge on Long Island and Fort Lee, New Jersey, near the George Washington Bridge. Air traffic controllers initially denied that any airplanes, military jets, or space jets could have caused the mysterious lights, but a group known as the New York Strange Phenomena Investigators claimed to receive FAA radar data that corroborated the UFO sightings from that night. Number 3. San Diego On November 14, 2004, the USS Princeton, part of the USS Nimitz Carrier Strike Group, noted an unknown craft on radar 100 miles off the coast on San Diego. For two weeks, the crew had been tracking objects that appeared at 80,000 feet and then plummeted to hover right above the Pacific Ocean. When two FA-18F fighter jets from the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz arrived in the area, they first saw what appeared to be churning water with a shadow of an oval shape beneath the surface. Then, in a few moments, a white, tic-tac-shaped object appeared above the water. It had no visible markings to indicate an engine, wings, or windows, and infrared monitors didn't reveal any exhaust. Black Ace's Commander David Fravor and Lieutenant Commander Jim Slate of Strike Fighter Squadron 41 attempted to intercept the craft, but it accelerated away, reappearing on radar 60 miles away. It moved three times the speed of sound and more than twice the speed of fighter jets. Number 4. Chicago Flight 446 was getting ready to fly to North Carolina from Chicago's O'Hare International Airport when a United Airlines employee on the tarmac noticed a dark gray metallic craft hovering over Gate C-17 that day. November 7, 2006, a total of 12 United employees and a few witnesses outside the airport spotted the saucer-shaped aircraft around 4.15 p.m. The witnesses say that it hovered for about 5 minutes before shooting upward, where it broke a hole in the clouds, enough that pilots and mechanics could see the blue sky. The news report became the most read story on the Chicago Tribune's website to that date and made international news. However, because the UFO was not seen on radar, the FAA called it a weather phenomenon and declined to investigate. 
Number five, Texas. The small town of Stephenville, Texas, 100 miles southwest of Dallas, is mostly known for its dairy farms. But in the evening of January 8th, 2008, dozens of its residents viewed something unique in the sky. Citizens reported seeing white lights above Highway 67, first in a single horizontal arc, and then in vertical parallel lines. Local pilot Steve Allen estimated that the strobe lights spanned out for about a mile long and half a mile wide, traveling about 3,000 miles per hour. No sound was reported. Witnesses believe the event was reminiscent of the Phoenix Light sightings of 1997, while the U.S. Air Force revealed weeks later that F-16s were flying in the Brownwood military operating areas just southwest of Stephenville. Many townspeople didn't buy that explanation, believing that what they saw was too technologically advanced for current human abilities. Number 6. East Coast When news leaked in 2017 about the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, a video emerged that revealed an encounter between an F-A-18 Super Hornet and an unidentified aerial phenomena. Seen along the East Coast on a Raytheon Advanced Targeting Forward-Looking Infrared ATF-LIR pod, the craft was similar to that spotted off of San Diego in 2004, a fast-moving white oval about 45 feet long without wings or exhaust plume. The pilots tracked the object at 25,000 feet above the Atlantic Ocean as it flew away and simultaneously rotated on its axis. No explanation ever emerged. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!